Right when Camden and Agile were dominating the Indian brush pin market, a well-known stationery brand called Doms released their brush pins. We're going to unbox and review the Doms brush pins today. Before we get into the video, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Nero's Calligraphy. I'll be posting helpful tips, tricks and art experiments to help you creators learn calligraphy. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new tutorial. Let's get started. So this is the packaging of the Doms brush pin. On top, we have the Doms logo. It says super soft tip, brilliant colors made in India, which is great because there are not many brush pins that are made in India. We've got 14 shades here, which is two more than the Agile and Camlin. The two extra shades are silver and gold, which are actually metallic colors. So that's great. On the left and the right, it says the same super soft tip. So let's try it out and see if it's really super soft. On the back side, we got the MRP, which is 200 rupees. So it's on the entry level range, just like Agile and Camlin. So let's open it out now. Okay, so first of all, I love the display of brush pins like these. These are very different from the Camlin and the Agile brush pins because those are just boxes in which you have to keep your brush pins. But here you get a display. So it'll be very easily accessible whenever you're doing an artwork. The gold and the silver are kept separately because they're metallic. And you've got all the important colors over here. Let's just pick up a color. <laughs> I'm taking red. So on top of the brush pin, we've got Dom's super soft again, brush pin, and it says India. Okay. So the tip looks very similar to the Camlin brush pin in terms of the thickness they're definitely very thicker than agile brush pins and the quality is good for the price so let's see let's try them out and see first let's see the thickness of the doms brush pin when compared to agile and the camlin brush pins so i'm taking green colors from all the three brands first let's see the agile brush pins Now the Camlin. The Camlin is definitely thicker than the Agile. Finally, the Doms brush pin. The Doms looks way thicker than the Camlin, even though I applied almost the same pressure. Let's see if the Camlin can be made a little more thicker. Okay, even though I try to make it thicker, it's still a little thinner than the Doms. Maybe because Doms is very soft, like the packaging set. Now let's try the thin strokes. First the Agile. The Agile is extremely thin. So, now the Camlin. In Camlin, it's slightly difficult to get extremely thin strokes. Finally, the Doms. The Doms is very similar to the Camlin. You can't get extremely thin strokes like Agile, but the thick strokes are very thick, which is great. So together, even though your thin strokes are not very thin, you can get a very thick stroke to go with it. Let's try out a word now. I'm taking the orange color and writing the word orange. I'm adding a flourish to the G and I'm ending the E with a flourish. So the pen flows really smooth. So they are extremely soft tip, just like how they said in the package. There's no doubt that these pens are of really good quality, just like the Camlin brush pens. Let's see if we can add some shadow to this. I'm taking the yellow brush. For each stroke on the right side, I'm gonna add a shadow.
So the colors really go along well with each other and they are very vibrant and uh, they don't smudge so they dry off really fast which is a very important thing whenever you're doing shadows because sometimes in Camden what happens is when the colors are very vibrant and juicy when you're trying to shadow it smudges with the other color which is not there in Tom's which is a great thing. Next, I'm going to test the gold and the silver colors. These are metallic brush pens, which means that they can be written on white as well as black. The normal brush pens can't be written on black paper. So first, I'm going to start with white. The gold has a very greenish shade to it, but still it's a type of gold. Let's see if it shines. Cool. Now the silver. The silver is amazing. Let's see if it shines. Silver shines beautifully. The gold doesn't shine as much. But yeah, the silver is my pick. So now let's try it on black paper. First the gold. Still the green shade. There's a little ombre effect at the end of the gold. So the gold actually reduces as you go. That happened with metallic brush pens which gives a nice effect. Now for the silver. Wow, the this, this silver is still amazing. On black, the silver doesn't shine as much as it shined on uh, white, but I think it, it stands out really well, so these are definitely great. The silver metallic brush pens of these kind are actually around 200 per pen, but here you get a whole set for 200, which is amazing. So I think this is the standing out factor for this set. I hope this review was helpful for you. If you liked the video, hit the like button and let me know what you'd like to see next in the comment section down below. Also, if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to Nero's Calligraphy, making the world a better place one word at a time and hit the bell icon.